This is the only place you need to go if you need cheap and fast coins to build your God Squad. Hands down, they have the cheapest prices. Make sure you go to MMOXP.com and use code WOLF for 5% off. Link is in the description. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. Now, I messed up on the previous video, man. I forgot to show you guys a rock combination that you can use from the mesh post. However, this video is not going to be about that, but I am going to show you that really quick. This is going to be a play that I show you today that's really good against cover two. Once you get your opponent thrown off and he's worried about middle routes, underneath routes, you can hit him with this play. So the idea is to get your opponent focused on the low routes first, right? Because a lot of the times when you're playing, you're not thinking straight. You're trying to hit the deeper routes first, and then your opponent's a user god, so he's going to be back there guarding all the crossing routes. So what you do is you bait him. You constantly hit these little routes, right? Running back routes, little in routes, out routes, right? And you start, he starts to sit low. You'll see it in my gameplays. I do it to everybody. It works the same. It's always a mind thing when you play this game. Uh, I'm going to show you guys this route combination from Mesh Post. Then we're going to talk about the other one that's really good against Cover 2. So I'm showing you guys plays that go well against every defense in the game. You can just, this is why this offense is so powerful. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. Become a member of the Wolfpack. Link is in the description. Mesh Post really quick. Let me just go over this setup that I didn't show you guys the last time. And the setup is simple. All you're going to do is put X on an out route, put RB on a slant. And I think someone even put in the comments, and that comment was actually what reminded me about this. And I was like, oh, man, I forgot to tell you guys. And then all you're going to do, right, and this is just a route you can look for, is motion RB over, and then he's going to be open because of the way we separate the defenses with the out routes and stuff like that. And the way mesh post is designed, it stretches out the defense. And make sure you just put up the same uh, uh, adjustments that we did when we we're going to throw that wire out. However, you're actually looking for the RB route just like this. Now, if you still have your A route like you do right there instantly, you can hit him. And then once your opponent starts to compensate for that, right, then you start going a little bit further. OK, so one more time just to show you guys RB on a slant X on an out route. And then you'll have two routes to look at right here. The snap of the ball is the A route. Once you motion him over, look at the A route simple boom a route he sits low with him then we just hit this guy okay so like that you see what i'm saying there's going to be times where the a route he's not going to sit low with the a route and you hit the a route take what they give you bro you know what i'm saying don't be the hero once we snap the ball i'm looking at a that's what i'm doing first on this play boom he doesn't play him guess what we take him when we go up the field once he starts to compensate and he starts sitting low with his user or he starts playing hard flats and let's say he's doing it in cover two. I'm going to show you guys this play that works really good. We're going to glitch out cover two with this play. And you know what's crazy is this is going to be a play and a setup that not even the pros use. It's something that I came up with exclusively. The one it's a glitch that I found in the game since Madden 19. And since this game is pretty much almost identical, it works really well against cover two. And so the way we're going to set this up is put B on an out route, and A on a street. Whatever you want to do with X and Y, you can. OK, now the idea is that you already have the focus of your opponent who's running cover two. And I've already I've been coming across a few people running cover two online. It was it's strange. Anyway, once you get his focus underneath with the running back routes and these little routes, right, uh, uh, you can hit him with this play. So what's going to happen in this play is the B route is going to glitch out the cloud, uh, the soft squat, a shaded over the top cloud, shaded underneath hard flat. Doesn't matter what they do. That B route is going to take his uh priority and then you're just going to come hit my man over here and then you can try to get the one play td well i kind of messed that up also i already made a personnel mistake no one told no one said nothing bro if you didn't see it by now then you already know let me just school you guys real quick you gotta put your fastest wide receivers in the in the formation so beasley's decent but mckenzie's better 92 speed 94 acceleration what more can you ask for you know so as we come back to the same formation uh come back to the curl flat cover two this play is brilliant okay random cover two doesn't matter it's gonna glitch out you'll see that if we run this play over and over it's still gonna glitch out that cloud the soft whatever and then we just run this guy over here now i don't know if you guys saw it but people that have been paying attention to my channel know beasley would probably be probably be the best receiver to have on that side you're like well how well well, it's because he doesn't hit that corner out fast, right? He doesn't hit it fast, which means he can catch and run. So with the faster wide receivers, they're going to hit that sideline faster and you're going to have to go out of bounds. However, receivers like uh, Beasley won't. Let me just show you guys really quick. Right here, I can throw a little bit earlier. 
I got to catch that right there. Now, let's go ahead and put Beasley in there. I think this is a good uh, learning thing for you guys because I try to preach this to people as we're playing. You know what I mean? Like, it's not always ideal to use your fastest wide receivers in some plays. And this is going to be one of them. This is going to be exactly what I mean. So let's go ahead and put Beasley here. Beasley is probably the difference between a touchdown and not a touchdown. You know what I mean? So we use McKenzie. You're probably not going to score the touchdown. However, with Beasley, maybe after a couple tries, right? We hit him. He gets the ball early, and then he catches and runs into the end zone. So you're seeing it right now in real time what I mean. You don't really need the fastest wide receiver there. So this is this play right here, this cover two invert, this play is not probably not going to work because, because of the way the three deeps work. The guy's actually going to sit low. So what you want to do when you see cover two invert is you want to use like maybe PA fork and motion this guy over here. You know what I'm saying? Run it this way and put a comeback route like this and then just wait for him to get over the top of that as he will. You see what I'm saying? And wait for him to get over the top. I'm going to just secure catch that and catch it over the middle. So cover two inverts like that. That's how you would attack that defense. You just got to play a lot to know. So right back to what I was talking about. Boom. Snap the ball. And you'll see. Oh, throw it. I can catch and run with this and score the touchdown. Well, because Beasley doesn't get to the sideline fast. He, he gets open, but he doesn't get to the sideline too fast because he's not as fast as McKenzie which then turns into a touchdown because now I can run up the field. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Now, if your opponent is user God, you can still run curl flat, and this is what I recommend you do. You put RB on a hitch. Now you have this little route combination that is just lethal, okay? So when you snap the ball, you can boom, and you can hit RB really quick and cover two. If they shade underneath, then you go back to the original setup. And if, they, if you do go back to the original setup, you have the X route on the left side. So it's not like something that you can't use. Let me, I'll show you guys what I mean, okay? So right here, boom. Hit this guy real quick again in cover two. Now let me go ahead. There's also another thing you can do is if you do hit this right here, put the RB on the hitch, you can still look for the A route, right? Boom. He'll get open. If it's hard flats, you got to be careful. Now let's say they do run hard flats where they, they put everybody in coverage lower. We can still run that same play and see what we can get away with. Boom, come back to this play. This play's good. These plays, all these plays are good, man. I'm telling you guys right now, it's just, you gotta know when to run them. Let's go ahead and do cover two hard flat and let's see with RB on a little hitch right here. Let's see what we get. Okay, he plays low, boom, boom. We got B, RB, you see, you see that, you see that. But now let's look to the left side. I could probably still hit our, you know, I messed that up, bros, my bad. But I still have this guy over here. It's just with this other route, he stretches out the defense with the streak. And that guy turns into a touchdown. Now, let me go ahead and put RB on a hitch right here and see what we got. We got him instantly, even in hard flash. So if the shade underneath, at the snap of the ball, the defense is pulled backwards. However, let's say you don't have that. You can come over here, right? And you can look at this guy right here. Boom. You see what I'm saying? So in a hard flash situation, now you have someone on the left side that's going to get open. So once your opponent starts to compensate for your low routes, you can run this play, right? And then you have this guy in cover two hard flats. And it's just it's just an awesome play, man. I'm telling you guys right now. Covered this play really does numbers against cover two as long as you're running it right. So right here at the snap of the ball, boom. Now what they're probably gonna do is they're probably gonna put hook curls low, everybody low, shade underneath on their hook curls. And that all that's going, going to equate to is this guy over here being open every single time because he's above all the underneath zone drops. You know what I mean? So anything that they do low, that guy will always be open and you could just throw it to him so i hope you like this play man use it wisely like i said really good against cover two defense if they use the cover two invert you're going to want to run a play like pa dig for it which i'll go over in another video uh outside zone i don't really like outside zone from gun bunch offset because of the way the running back works i mean you rarely get yards with this play you know what i'm saying like i, I don't know uh make sure you drop a like love you guys man peace